Hello and welcome to Web Learning where knowledge is shared. In an upcoming video, I'll share how I built my own Ubuntu server on Amazon Cloud AWS. But at some point, we'll need to upload and download files from that server. And in order to do that, we'll use the Total Commander. For that, I need to show you one more thing on how to generate the public and private keys for the Amazon server in order to connect to it. So after building the Amazon server, you'll get the PEM key. Then you need to open the PuTTY key generator. This is part of the PuTTY software. Link you'll find below on how to install it. We'll need to click load. Go to the folder where you have the key. Change the extension to all the files and load your PEM key. This will import the key. Now I'm hiding the information because this is information on how to connect to my Ubuntu server. Now what you need to do is two things. First, you'll need to scroll down in this key and copy all of it. So right click copy. I'm doing this and not using the save public key because for some reason this is not working. And then you need to click save private key. Are you sure? Yes. We need to go to the same folder. Give it whatever name you want. With the ending of PPK, click save. You can close this. You can now click Shift F4. We'll give it a pub ending for public. Click OK. This will open our Notepad++. Now I'll click Paste to the key that I copied. I'll click Save. And I'll close it down. Now that I have all three files, I can go to my network neighborhood. Go to my secure FTP. Click on F7 to open a new connection. I can call this, for example, AWS VPN2. Click OK. Connecting to, this is the IP that you need to connect to the server. Whatever IP that you'll see in the, the AWS server. So for example, 1.2.3.4. Again, this is fake IP. You'll need to put your right IP. Username, usually at the beginning it will be Ubuntu. There's no need to, for a password because you're using, using the public key and the private key. For the public key, you click here. Go to the folder where you have the key and use that key. For the PM, the same thing as before. And you leave everything as it is. Click OK. Double click on the AWS VPN 2. It will ask you, are you sure that you want to connect? Click Yes. And that's it. You can see all your files on the AWS server. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll see the next video on the AWS. Thank you.